face today. So she's a style icon, head of a fashion label, mother of four, businesswoman, Victoria Beckham Detonal. to have you here. Did I tell you you were going to be like excited? Yes. Yeah. Yes, they were not expecting that. Um, there's so much that we can talk to you about and I mean so down to earth. We were just talking about our star signs backstage and I mean we believe in this stuff. So it's like you're an Aries. I am. And you are a fire sign and we can see it in the way that you've lived your life. You have made that turn from entertainment to fashion. And I'm wondering, like, when was it? What was the point when you found the fashion industry was really taking you seriously? Gosh. Um, you know, obviously, I was in the music industry. And um, I love everything that I did. I'm sure quite a few of you have heard of the Spice Girls. <laughs> so um, I loved my time in the Spice Girls. Um, but fashion was always my real passion it was always what I really really wanted to do so when I decided this is what I'm going to focus on I really kept my head down worked hard followed my dreams mm -hmm. um, and you know I was very aware of people's preconceptions having come from a pop group now trying to be taken seriously in the fashion industry and it was never really about proving anything to anybody mm -hmm. other than myself and working hard and I don't remember a specific time where I felt that people were taking me seriously because for me I always want to better myself mm -hmm. you know I'm my number one critic and once I have one successful collection I'm working for the next and I think that getting success is tough but maintaining success is even tougher. Yes. So I feel that I always have to keep proving myself really to, to myself and to my community. It's working. So you're going to get, you're gonna get you. a snapshot of what she's been doing in fashion. It is working and you keep outdoing yourself, which is amazing. Thank we're you. obsessed with your fashion, but we were Thank obsessed you. with your family. We Thank love you. your family. As a mom, I love looking at pictures of you all on Instagram, the boys coming and taking your daughter out for Halloween. That kind of groundedness doesn't always happen at the celebrity level that you're at and I'm wondering mm -hmm. how do you make sure your kids just stay two feet firmly planted on the ground you know I think it's all about communication and me and David are uh, we're great we're great partners we're lucky to have each other and the children are always and have always been our priority so really trying to be the best parents we can be you know we're very stri strict we had quite traditional upbringings mm -hmm. ourselves and the kids work hard they're sweet they're kind um, and they're fun as well and our parents have always very been very involved with bringing the children up so they are very grounded yes. and they're nice fun happy good kind people that people really love to be around and I think that's the ultimate goal that's lovely well I love watching um, you know the kids in the front row with your, your, your daughter with Anna Sweet, Wintour I know that's pretty the cool Bulls. yes so we're gonna pretend to be the daughter in the front row with Anna Wintour so and sweet. see your fashion right now shall okay, we see some great. of your looks yes, please thank you let's see look number one give her some love because you're gonna <laughs> love it This was Spring Sangma 20, um, which I showed in London um, a few months ago. And this was the opening look. So one of my favorite looks. I love tailoring um, and menswear will always inspire my collection in some way. Um, so this is a very strong suit, um, which I love. Um, in the hound's teeth, which is really, really great. It is gorgeous. It looks Thank like you. it is tailored to perfection. I saw the show yesterday, your showing in Toronto, and it was gorgeous. And you really are lucky to be getting this sneak peek. So thank you so much for this. You look fabulous. <laughs> Look, we get a little bit of both because you've got that gorgeous mm -hmm. femininity in the blouse, mm -hmm. right? 
Yeah, absolutely. There was a big, uh, there was a very strong ruffle story throughout the collection. Yeah. So today we have quite a few of the tailored pieces. But you know, having a lightness and a femininity is key for me all the time as well. Celebrating the fact that we are that we are women. And what I love about these ruffles, we had lots of them in the show, and it almost felt that the ruffles were dancing around the girls' bodies, especially yes. when you see some of the more fluid, loose, loose dresses. So for me, this feels like the perfect. Um, way to tick the masculinity box, but also the chic femininity and super modern box as well. It's where we're at in fashion right now. It's Thank the you. juxtaposition of the two, and you've done it beautifully. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, everyone's mm -hmm. gonna take her seriously. She's impeccable. Absolutely, I mean, this is one of my favorite looks. Mm -hmm. um, and what I love about all of my collections, I feel that every single piece is an investment piece. Yes. So when you invest in one of my pieces, it's something that really will last you a long time. I don't believe that you should wear an item and only wear it for a few seasons. I think it's key that you can wear those pieces time and time again. Mm -hmm. For so many reasons that's important. Sustainability being one of the reasons as well. Yes. And you take this outfit, for example, she's gonna wear this blouse with her jeans, as well as wearing it in really quite a formal way. She's gonna wear this jacket with her jeans, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think that that's very, very important that you can take these pieces and really own them, make them your own, and get a lot of wear and use out of all of the items. Ultimately, everything is flattering. I want to make women feel like the best, most beautiful version of themselves every time they come. You said so the, the ruffles are dancing and the, the beautiful pleats of this the way it flows you want to you want to walk in this dress absolutely and I think that there's always an element of fun as well I think mm -hmm. having the pop of that beautiful color shoe again you wouldn't normally put these colors together but it feels fresh it feels new and it feels very me I love yeah. the funness of the flower the chicness of the belt it's comfortable and she can wear this a multitude of different ways she yes. can wear it with a flat shoe during the summer she can wear it with a heel in the evening as well um, I just want people to be able to enjoy wearing the clothes and feel yeah. great. It's flowy and it's easy, you know? And there's something yep. about your style aesthetic that I find is refreshing because you're never showing a lot, mm -hmm. but it's still very sexy. And I think that's, that's a lovely sort of elevated and elegant way to do style. I agree. I mean, look, back in the day, I've worn many PVC cat suits and tiny, <laughs> tiny, little, tiny short skirts. And yeah. it's been a journey. And I look back at those pictures and I smile. But for me now, I suppose I do dress in a little bit of a conservative way. But I do still feel very feminine. And yeah. I feel sexy in these clothes, you yes. know. I, I want to feel empowered, but in a very chic um, timeless, sophisticated way, yes. you know, it's how I express myself, but I do feel that it comes from within as well, and clothes should elevate that. And but there should be a bit of fun in it, so I'm happy you said that. Do you ever get the kids involved in any of the looks? Are you, are you showing them to them or your husband and saying, what do you guys think? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm not. I mean, I always... <laughs> no. No. I always um, look forward to them coming to see the show because yeah. they don't see what I'm doing. And for quite a few seasons, they didn't actually come to the show. Um, and it was lovely to see when they did the fact they were like, wow, mummy actually has a job. Yes. M mummy, mummy, mummy goes to the studio every day, but they didn't know what that meant. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I fell in love with this the minute I saw it when you did your Thank first you. preview. It is absolutely vibrant. That saturated color, it is gorgeous. Thank you. I mean, you look incredible in this dress. You so look good. so beautiful. And again, I think that there is so much going on in the world right now yeah. that is not great. And I think that we need to make ourselves feel good. We need to make each other feel good. And what better way to do that than wearing great color. I mean, you look so stunning in that dress. It's flattering, it's fun, 
it's uplifting, it's positive. This is everything that I want in a dress. It's yeah. comfortable. You look absolutely outstanding. <laughs> we believe in quite strongly here at City Line um, is sort of a woman's right to do whatever she wants with her face. Yes. She can smile if she wants or she doesn't have to smile if she doesn't want to. So we know that much has been said about Victoria Beckham and her lack of smiles. So we have a designer that's going to be coming um, up on the show a little bit later. Her name is Hillary McMillan. And she's also a strong believer that women are able to do whatever they want with their face. And so the next time someone asks you to smile a little bit, now you can just tell them to read your back. Oh my god, that's so funny. That's so funny. Right? So there you go. You can just put it on in a casual little cape way. Yeah. <laughs>